Hey guys, this is Tranquil Flow with the Anti Scam Token Team. I've just got a video today covering gas on Uniswap. We're covering more generally what gas is on the Ethereum blockchain, as well as how you can manage and interact with gas when using in Uniswap to either save some gas fees or to get a transaction to go through quickly. So, what is gas? Well, gas on Ethereum is basically the fee you pay to the miner for helping to process your transaction. So as Ethereum is proof of work, like Bitcoin, currently you pay a fee to the person who does the computational power to verify the transaction is in alignment with the rest of the blockchain and that you're not trying to pull a fast one on anyone. And so the transactions, when they're completed or when they're sent through, they go to here. So this is the mempool. It's the pending transactions. You can find this on Etherscan. And so whenever you do a transaction, it is sent here. And so the miners then automatically go through the mempool and do the transactions that a reward them the most. So they're looking to get the most value out of their computational power. And so we can see here, this is determined by a gas price as well as a gas limit. And so the price of gas is in Guai. And so much like Bitcoin can be divisible down to Satoshis, the smallest divisible unit for Ethereum is actually a Y, that's W-E-I. So one billion Y is one Guai, and one billion Guai is one Ether. And so the miners go through here. And so, for example, there's one with 150 guai on the gas price, which is huge, that's massive. That's probably done instantly. Miners just snap that up. And the gas limit is also relevant, although for our purposes, gas price is generally what you're gonna be manipulating. So if we go to the last page for here, we can see the back end of the pending transaction log. And we can see we've got a bunch that have been sitting here for just over two days now. And most of them have very, very low Y price. And so the price of gas will fluctuate over time based on many factors. Um, but generally, the more the Ethereum blockchain is used, the higher the gas price as the pending transactions get clogged up a little bit. So if we go to... Uh, back to Uniswap, then we hit swap, and what will happen is a little window will pop up like this. Uh, this could be different based on what um, interface you're using. I'm using MetaMask. Um, so we've got here the gas fee and the total. So this is the value of the tokens you're buying plus the gas fee. Just a quick note as well the gas fee for anti scam token is generally a little higher. And that is because we actually have three transactions going in one because we have the the buy, we have the gas, so the um the burn transaction, and then we also have their transaction for the lotto distributing to one of the top 100 holders. So how do we change this? Well, go to edit. And then you can see it's given us some presets in the basic tab. It gives us an estimated time of confirmation. And then we have an estimated price. And so we can then further refine this by hitting the advanced tab. And we can see we've got a little graph here. On the X axis, we have the gas price in Guai. And in the Y axis, we have the confirmation time in seconds. And so you can see here, gas price really low at 33 Guai. As you increase the gas price, the confirmation time goes down and down and it kind of flat lines around here. Um, and so you can kind of use this to determine what is a good gas price. If we go back to basic and we change these presets, you can see the gas price goes up and it goes up again. Not by much in this instance. Um, currently, the gas fees are actually somewhat low compared to the last week or so. But uh, when the gas prices go up, these change quite a bit. So if you're wanting to use less gas, you would go to the advanced tab and you could either use the slow preset or you could even lower it a little bit more. 
And the reason you would want to do this is if, for instance, you're transacting, uh, you're moving funds from one of your wallets to another um, and you're not in a rush, put low gas price. Uh, it'll save you a little bit of money, but you know, it's up to you if you think it's worth it. Um, gas limit can also be changed, but generally um, not too necessary. You can see what it is here. Um, but if you're in a rush, what would you do? Well, you'd go to the advanced tab and you'd bump this up. Um, so I'm sure many of you are aware on Uniswap, the price action on some tokens is insanely volatile and getting your transaction in before others can be the difference between a huge difference in multiplying your, your profit or your loss rather, you know? Uh, the price can move very quickly away from you. So it's often quite relevant that you want to have a high gas price to get in before everyone else. Um, and so generally bumping this up to you know, 60, 70, even going up to like 90, um, you're going to get a very quick transaction. And this can actually be really worth it to pay the extra gas because you could get in before like, you know, five or 10 buyers or five or 10 sellers. Um, so that's something to be you know, aware of when you're trying to get in a quick transaction. Um, and these gas prices can actually get really high if you get into what's called a gas war, when you have lots of transactions going through at once. Um, for instance, when a token first goes live, a gas war can develop because everyone's trying to either buy or sell at the same time. They want to get, get in in front of everyone else. So they say, oh, well, everyone else is going to put a high gas, I'll put it even higher. And then maybe someone else is thinking, oh, they'll well, maybe I'll do it even higher. And then you get a lot of gas going to the miners who obviously love it. Um, yeah, so look, guys, that is everything. Uh, so just basically to cover it quickly, we have gas as the fee that is given to miners for processing your transactions. You can change the gas to be low price when you want to have a transaction that isn't uh, very isn't needed to go through quickly, and you can increase the gas price when you want to have a transaction go through very quickly and get your tokens sold or bought immediately. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and until next time, take care. Bye.